Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Garvin Plays Minecraft, and what are we doing today? Uh, we are doing something that I'm not completely happy with, and that is, uh, we're going to destroy something that I have built, something that I put a lot of time in and had a lot of hope for, but it is just not serving the, the purpose that I, I, was, I was hoping for. And that is, we're going to take down the Zen Garden. A, it's not really providing Zen. Uh, that's one thing. Um, the, uh, the other thing is, you know, I just never had a plan. And when you never have a plan for something, it's really, really easy to be uh, unimpressed by it. <laughs> as yet as you move forward uh, so yeah basically oh oh man I almost lost a sheep basically uh, it's just in the way it's a distraction it is taking away from uh, what I am starting to think is is the the beautiful house that I have uh, created here uh, there's a this house has a lot of cool things about it. And I think, uh, oh, dang it. Let me get up here real quick. I'll have to fix that later. But, yeah, just having this just sitting there and taking up space and not really having a use, uh, I think is taken away from the overall good aspects uh, of the rest of the house. So, this is what we're doing today. We're just going to... Um, well, A, we're, we're kind of fixing, uh, some problems, and I'm getting really nervous because, oh, the sheep, I'm going to lose sheep. Nope, okay, good. Saved him. Ah, oh, man, that was, that was nerve-wracking right there. Okay, so, this is what we're going to do today. We are going to tear down the Zen Garden, or at least the foundation of the Zen Garden that never was. Uh, so we're going to do that. Then we are going to uh, continue to fix the farm area that I have right here. And just to go into a little bit of background, if you, if you missed a few episodes, or if you got totally bored with the last episode because of my incredibly monotone voice... Um, then what you missed was that I moved all of the farm animals up. So I have uh, I had sheep and cows and pigs, and I brought them all up three uh, three pens, and uh, I was very satisfied with uh, with how things were going and uh, what we could do here. But at the end of the day, uh, I realize having all of these farm animals is giving me a lot more supplies that, than I really need. So, sheep. Obviously, if I plan on using wool, which I think I, think I could. I think I could use wool more in my, in my buildings just to give kind of like, a, like a, just a different effect, a different look for things. I think that's definitely something I should look into. You know, looking at, at the work that Joe has done on, on the bridges using the redstone blocks or, or, or the lapis. I mean, he's done some really quality stuff just with some colored blocks. And I feel like my bridges, although epic um, and realistic, that they, they just don't have that same look. Maybe a colored wool, or maybe a uh, colored clay block, or even some redstone block or something. I, just something else could be used in these little square openings and make and make that bridge really awesome. Uh, so, so some things that that I'm thinking about. I, I, wool is definitely going to be necessary, and I think that's definitely something that I should uh, use use more often. So gonna do that we need sheep sheep are uh very necessary pigs are not sorry uh pigs do one thing for me 
they provide meat. And at one point, uh, I was using nothing but pork chops. And I think that was cool. But at the end of the day, if I have to make a separate pen for pigs, or if I have to continue growing carrots, which I've done, like, I've got all, like, all of these stacks of carrots that are just sitting there. Um, I'd rather not dedicate so much to that. Instead, I think we can si we can just go to sheep and cows. Sheep for the for the wool, cows for uh, our food, and then leather. I mean, we can, we can make a lot of cool things with leather. So, and in the process of doing that, I I took. I took carrots out of my uh, out of my garden. So really, you know, earlier it was wheat, carrots, potatoes. Now it's wheat. Uh, another mostly full field of wheat, and then potatoes for the rest. Uh, this was just kind of happenstance. I didn't have enough uh, of seeds in my hand, and I didn't want to take the long trek of about 20 blocks to this chest to uh to get the rest of the seed so i just planted the potatoes i had in my hand so but you know with wheat you can grow uh or you can breed sheep and cows so i mean that's that's a necessity but i can also make bread out of it uh there's other things i can make out of it as well and then potatoes you know you can bake those and those are cool so so that's where we stand right now. Uh, I, I I'm okay with that. It's one less thing I got to worry about. And pigs were always dicks, uh, generally speaking. It was so hard to keep them into the uh, in the pens. And yeah, overall, I mean, they just don't they don't serve a good enough purpose to keep around. Uh, so, and steak does a wonderful job at keeping me. Uh, filled. So, but on that note, I think it is time to take down, to start taking down. And let me, let me check my inventory. Probably can drop some of these items. I don't think I'll be needing most of this. And yeah, let's drop this. Oh, I forgot. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna drop these items, and we've got. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my my pickaxe that has silk touch, and then I'm gonna collect this glass and uh, bricks. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I am so torn on this. One, um, I hate this building. Oh man, and I just fell. Uh, I hate this building because it does nothing. At the same time, I mean, look at it. it is <laughs> this building is definitely like one of my favorite just because of the time I took to do all the decorations for it. So, you know, uh, this this window with the with the tree growing through it and then the doorway uh, with the with the creeper face type thing. I've also got this doorway with a, a little wider version of it. Man. Let me climb back up there. And then again, you know, another big window uh, with the tree in it. So I, I like everything we did with this with this building. It looks awesome. I just don't like it here. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to take a couple screenshots. Okay. We're going to take some screenshots to uh, remember how we did the design of, uh, of these. And eventually we're going to take this uh, and we're going to make this into uh, a building. And maybe, you know what, we do have room out there. Maybe that's one of the, one of the next buildings that we make uh, is just like a little garden, a little empty room uh, that's just sitting there for, for, for peaceful reasons uh you just want to go inside and, and rest you can go inside and rest so but without further ado let's just start tearing down and really i i hate doing this 
I feel so bad. And I should have brought my axe. I'll go I'll go back in and get the axe. But man, I just I definitely feel bad for doing this. Oh. But well, we will rebuild it. We will rebuild it and uh and it'll be okay. So one one thing that uh I do dislike and I know you can take this off in earlier, ver or I'm sorry, later versions of the game. Uh, you know, because we're still running on 6.4. But um, I want to be able to turn off the cows and the sheep. I don't need to hear them. Uh, I need to hear everything else. So I'm glad that the next version of Minecraft includes a separate sound uh, call out for for those types of mobs I don't, I don't think it's I don't think it's loud for you guys but it is definitely loud and annoying for me so much so I just want to turn off sound altogether but I'll hold off doing that So the other problem with uh, with taking this building down is we had we had built this bridge uh, to go from the, the main floor, the floor that has my bed and all of the uh, the main furnaces with the fireplace. Uh, you know, we have this bridge coming out so that we can go to this building, um, but unfortunately, we just never did anything with it to to even make it worthwhile. So, you know. Realistically, the only thing I'm using the bridge for right now, and you guys have seen this when uh, in in previous videos, I just climb onto that so I can get a good view of everything else that's around me. And that's not, oh, man, I didn't want to take that down. Yeah, and that's just not that's just not a good reason to have uh, have a bridge. Although I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe it's one of those. Uh, I don't know. You guys in in the Cleveland area and really the Great Lakes area in general. There's a lot of uh, a lot of piers that go into Lake Erie or any of the other big lakes, and they they have no purpose whatsoever except to give you uh, a viewpoint of the of the lake. So for us, it's Lake Erie. Um, right outside of Cleveland or, you know, in the general uh, areas around. So, you know, maybe it, it's not a, a completely horrible idea to have a bridge that only has one purpose, and that's a scenic one. But still, I feel like... I feel like a, a pier makes more sense just because you I mean you still can do more on a pier like you can fish that's something important right can't do that here and I suppose I could use this as a shooting range again and just stand on the bridge at night and shoot off but the only problem with that is I'll then have to go down to get any of the loot, and, and that sucks. That's one of the that's one of the main reasons I don't use uh, the shooting range in town as much anymore, because I was just tired of you know having to to run down um, you know when when day hit, and really it was just my impatience. You know, um, I I always wanted to just. You know, after about three or four minutes, just run down at that point. Like, what was the... Why, why wait? And then I would always get hit by a creeper or something because that area is awful. But, I don't know. So, I'm leaning towards taking it down. Again, it's not serving any purpose. I can, I can throw blanket reasons why we should keep it, but... 
Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. All right, so I think I just got this one last strip to take down. Uh, I should probably take down this brick, replace it with uh, with grass or <laughs> with glass. Uh, That looks good. Overall, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think we can still have... Uh, maybe I can cover this up. Yeah, I think we can still have an opening to get onto the roof if needed. I think that would work. I mean, we do have the doorway, but uh, you know, once we're down there, if we need to get up... You know, maybe at this point we, we can turn this into a, a a makeshift shooting range. And I think that would be fun. But, yeah, overall, now that I've got the... Uh, now that I've made the zombie spawner, uh, this, this trap area, like, now that I've... I've I've had this water go around in this moat. This catches so many zombies uh, that I don't even really need a shooting range anymore. I can just I can just stand up here, go go away from keyboard, and come back. Uh, zombies have attempted to get me skeletons, creepers, and then they all just jump into this water pit, like this guy's gonna do. Or maybe not. Yep, there he is. See, just jumped right in. So I could sit here for a few minutes uh, away from the keyboard and then jump into uh, jump into the room and just wait for them to land. I mean, yeah. So that's a lot, a lot more passive, uh, and I I appreciate being passive uh, at times. Oh, speaking speaking of that, um, I did I did do some more work on this river, um, and it's not done yet. But as you know, uh, I've got this entrance that has the water rushing in to to force uh, mobs to go down this hole. Well, I I made a little offshoot of the river to just get an idea of what it was going to take to uh, you know do do the same thing. Ah, crap. This is not good. This is not good. Oh. How did we get out of that? Um. This creeper. There it is. Oh, another zombie in the water. Okay. So, as you can see, uh, we get attacked by zombies and creepers. Sometimes skeletons. Uh, I really haven't seen a whole lot of them around here. But, yeah, overall, we're getting attacked. And if I'm standing on this side or the other side, they just jump right into the water. Um, like, here, we're going to watch this, this guy do it. Right into the water. Why that makes sense, I have no idea. But he does it. So what, we, what, what I want to do is I want to get the water to flow into this this area so from both sides both sides are going to flow into this little catch-all uh, river here and then that leads into uh, the same the same entrance so you got the same spawner entrance die All right. uh, which you know gives the same premise of this moat over here but just on the other side I think that'll be uh, beneficial so have all the zombies and creepers and what and whatnot, uh, basically, kill themselves, because then they're led to here, and then I can smoke them. All right, so um, yeah, I don't know. 
So I got to figure out now if I should take down that bridge. I I'm leaning towards taking it down. I don't really see a reason to keep it. As you know, as as we as we saw, it serves no purpose now, other than leading to well, leading to here. I mean, but but what is this? What is this area? Do we do we need this? Do we need a little bridge to go to nothing? You know, I suppose I I can take it up and meet meet up with that walkway, but I don't know. It's just a it just doesn't seem like it doesn't seem worthless. Why 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 have it? So I think we should take it down. Take it down and uh turn this into the the little balcony that we had before. I mean, before it was just uh I think it ended here and it was just something to to look out like a balcony, obviously. You know, you're going to look out to the rest of your yard. And, uh, yeah. So, let's take it down. And, uh, at this point, I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to, we're going to do this off camera. And then while we're off camera, we're going to think about where we're going next, uh, with our build. If, if we should continue doing work uh, on the farm or if we should, uh, do something in the house or maybe, Maybe we start building that Zen garden or at least checking out where we can put it. So anyway, stay tuned. When we come back, we'll have some more ideas of what we're going to do next. All right, guys, we are back and it is time to start looking at the to-do list, what we've got going on. Now, I know in the first part of the video, we went a little longer than we normally do. Um, for various reasons, but um, right now, number three on this list is very interesting to me. Spider farm, something that we have set forth to do for a while, just never, never got to it. But now we've got the building, so now we've got that foundation, that motivation to really build out this building. So uh, I think that is something that we should we should look at today and talk about. Uh, because there are a few issues that I have with it. And uh, I just want to talk to you guys about them. See what you guys think uh, before we move out, move forward with a, a real actual build. But the Zen Garden, uh, I'm going to keep it on the list. Despite doing what we just did. And what we just did <laughs> is we took down the Zen Garden. So uh, the the brick building that we had set up, uh, we we took it down. It is gone. It is uh, done with. But um, yeah, overall, I'm I'm happy. It was it quickly became the albatross of of this house. You know, it just uh, stood there in my face, reminding me that uh, I needed to finish it. So I'm glad we, we got rid of it uh, just so I can move on to more important things. And plus, you know, taking this back down uh, is actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I think we, we probably should get rid of the nether rack now that we don't have the fire burning. So I think, I think we can go ahead and get, just get rid of that. Hey, look at these zombies just jump right into the water. Go ahead. Jump right in. Jump right in with your friends. Come on. Do it. Do it. Get in that water. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what his problem is. Come on. Ah, forget you. All right, so, yeah, overall, I like having this area back. Um, I think it looks nice down here. Let me just drop down. Come on. Yeah, I think uh, I think having this wide open makes this farm feel uh, a lot better. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm totally cool with with that. Now, though, it is time to discuss. <laughs> what you know, once I'm done falling into the sheep, 
uh, what we're gonna do with the spider spawner. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go and clear out my inventory before we walk over there. And I've been trying to do some different stuff with the inventory to make it a little bit more organized. So, like with my brick, uh, I've got everything kind of divvied up. So we got the nether brick, the re the uh, the regular brick. We got some clay left over that. I haven't decided if I want to turn into brick yet or make into hardened clay. So, uh, yeah, I think I think this is uh, a lot nicer than what we had before. And actually, this uh, this nether rack we can just throw right into the fire. And there it leaves. But yeah, so I've just been trying to organize a bit better. So, you know, up here we've got oak leaves, then jungle, then birch, uh, you know, as we as we go. And I think that's a nice a nice way to go about doing it. Then it's just easier to to grab the item that you want. You know, like look, we've got glowstone dust and then glowstone, but they're kind of all together and that's that's a bit annoying. Um, yeah, let's put the sandstone down. So, yeah, so here I've got, you know, regular sandstone, and then I've got my smooth, my chisel. I, I think just having it organized feels, uh, feels a lot better. So, alright, let's, let's stop talking about inventory. And walk on over to the spider spawn, uh, trap location. And let's talk about uh, anything changing? Nope, nothing. All right, let's talk about what we're actually looking at. And that sounded like an Enderman who landed really close, but I am not seeing him. All right, cool. So the spider spawn trap. And first, no, we we can look at that later. I mean, the the normal design for a a spawn tower is as such, where you know, you've got it jetting out like this. This is our skeleton spawner. Works really well. Uh, I think it fits. Uh, you know what 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 we need over there. So we're getting lots of arrows and bows and some enchanted armor, but not not a lot. Right, I'm just watching this guy because what what I'd like to happen is to see if this river is flowing properly. I don't think it is. Nope. Okay. We're going to have to fix it. Uh, back to what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, let's go down to the spider spawner. So first, first of all, we are at 67 feet. Now what's nice about the skeleton spawner is, bam, it's right here, you know. Same thing with the zombie spawner is it's like within uh, generally 15 to 20 blocks from the from the ground. And that's great because uh, that means that we can build the tower and not really have to go that far into uh, into the uh, I don't know it just it, it, it eliminates the amount of time that we really have to spend on it. To be absolutely truthful, so spawn traps are not uh, not not easy to to do. Um, all right, so I was trying to close that up, but I did a I did an awful job. Uh, all right, getting distracted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get back into what what we came down here for. So the problem with this spawner is it's at 20 feet so we're talking <laughs> uh, about 40 blocks thereabouts from here to uh, ground level so uh, with a lot of the spider the the spider spawn traps that you see it's normally the the spawner is above where you want to be uh, so it just falls down kind of thing and it, that can be within 16 blocks or whatever uh, but it's it's rare that the spiders are climbing 
more than 40 blocks uh, to get to that main building that we're in. Because, I mean, ideally, ideally, it would be nice to not have to climb this, this ladder uh, system every time that we want to get to the spider spawn trap. It would be great if, magically, uh, we could just stand in this room and get all of our gear. But that's not going to happen. I mean, we're talking, we're talking forty blocks that we're going to have to climb down. At, at least, at least thirty blocks that we're going to have to climb down, so that we can stand above the spawner, uh, activate it, and then lift the spiders up to it. Um, I don't know. We 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 have we have a lot of different ideas. One. Uh, we can we can do that that water elevator. I think the water elevator is is the best bet. Um, that seems to be what most people use. And you know, like like I said before, we don't necessarily need anything uh, that gives XP. We, we're getting tons of XP with the zombie spawner that we set up. Uh, so there's no real need to to go. Uh, that route. All we need is the spider eyes and the uh, and, and the string. So maybe a, maybe a, a a water water elevator that drops them into lava and that kills them, or maybe just a straight drop that kills them on impact, and we can we can get the supplies from there. Like maybe we put some. Um, um, hoppers we can put some hoppers on the ground and have them all lead to one chest i think that'd be cool like i just like to have a place where i can go uh away from keyboard and sit under or sit above and have all of these loot come to me so i can just sit there and not have to do anything and it automatically goes uh i think that that'd be cool because that's kind of what we're doing with the zombie spawner except for you have to the way we've been doing them um, it's an XP machine as well, so you, you have to do that one last strike. So you can be sitting there until, you know, 30, 40 zombies come down. And then you're sitting there for an additional two, three minutes killing all the zombies. Uh, but I don't know. For this, I don't I don't want to go down that route. So that's just what I'm thinking. I'm totally open to, to what you guys think. And, and anyone else that's on the FTW Craft server... Feel free to give your ideas as well because this will be available to everyone. So uh, if you have an idea of what you think this area should uh, should should be, uh, as far as what kind of spider spawn trap, uh, feel free. Let me know. Yeah, let me know because I think overall I'm going to keep this building uh, unclaimed so that anyone can get in there and use the... Uh, the spider trap and I'll probably do the same thing about this zombie trap I mean I've got one for for my personal use in the house uh, I don't need both so that's probably what, what we'll end up doing is uh, leaving that up to you guys uh, everyone else that's on the server to play with so uh, but overall I need your ideas how should we do the spider spawn trap uh, I really want to get this done within the next week so you guys have a few days. Get back to me. Let me know what you think. And that's what we're going to go ahead and build with. So leave your comments or contact me on Twitter uh, or in the Facebook group or whatever. So, uh, But I think, I think we're going to go ahead and cut the video for today. And next episode, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build this spider spawn trap. So uh, anyways, like, comment, uh, do whatever you feel is necessary. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.